This is another big story for us, OK? And it's in relation to Kathleen Stock, who's a professor, an author, who's been doing a lot of talking and discussion and causing, bizarrely, a lot of controversy around, well, transgender issues. She's due to do a talk today at Oxford University. That's going to be taking place within the hour. We're going to be going to Oxford University, to outside, because shock, horror, surprise, surprise, massive protests set to take place there. This is a freedom of speech issue. But I just wanted to set my stall out a bit on this, because we're going to be dipping in and out of this issue throughout the course of the show. So, it is not controversial to say that men can't can't be women. What is controversial is the media, institutions and corporations boycotting anyone who wants to keep women safe and wokies with cheap wigs, Primark dresses and an Adam's apple shouting abuse at women for wanting to talk. Kathleen Stock will have to walk the gauntlet of hatred today as she prepares to do a debate at Oxford. She will hear shouts of turf and transphobe. You can see it coming a mile off, can't you? And it's at this point that it is worth reminding ourselves of what people like Kathleen Stock actually think. So this is a quote I found online from her. Males with male genitalia, many are sexually attracted to females and they should not be in places where females undress or sleep in a completely unrestricted way. I gladly and vocally assert the rights of trans people to live their lives freed from fear, violence, harassment or any discrimination. I think that discussing female rights is compatible with defending these trans rights. What's controversial about that? A load of very angry trans people who probably still live in their grandmother's basement tried to cancel J.K. Rowling. They even wanted to boycott the latest Harry Potter game, which is utterly pathetic. Again, here is a quote that I found online from J.K. Rowling. I respect every trans person's right to live any way that feels authentic and comfortable to them. I would march with you if you were discriminated against on the basis of being trans. At the same time, my life has been shaped by being female. I do not believe it's hateful to say so. None of this is transphobic. If I said to you, that that dog over there is actually a cat. And you said, no, it's not, it's a dog. And I cut you out of my friend group. I called your boss to get you sacked. I followed you around in the street shouting abuse at you, told your partner to leave you, sent you death threats and constantly abused you on Twitter. You'd probably think I was a bit weird, wouldn't you? Yeah. So isn't that very similar to what's happening right now? The only people who can stand up for women's rights in relation to the trans mafia these days are people who are so wealthy they can't be cancelled or people who are willing to pay the price of losing everything or people who stop caring, I suppose. That is why so many people are forced into silence on this. But I am perfectly happy to die on this hill. Why? Well, I'll actually leave it to Kathleen Stock to explain. I don't mind being woman's plain to on this. She said... You've got male rapists in female prisons. That causes a lot of upset. You've got children transitioning, doing things to their bodies that they can't take back. That causes upset to their parents. You've got huge numbers of women unable to talk about sex-based rights in their workplaces because they feel stifled. That causes upset. It really is as simple as that. Well, that's what I think I want to hear from you. Email me, gbviews at gbnews.com. Loads more on that story a little later on in the show, including we will be going to Oxford to get a view from the ground as we expect there to be protests on both sides.